I was born in Kabul, Afghanistan during the Soviet war in the 1980s. Um, even though I was three weeks old when we left, my mom says I breathed the air and then, and then we had to leave. Um, I carry my family's uh, history and their story with me um, as if I lived there for as long as they did. They lived a happy and comfortable existence. They went to picnics on Fridays in the park. They went to the movies. Um, they took trips to the countryside to visit relatives and a million other things that make life beautiful. Um, so when the Soviet Union invaded in 1979, they knew that that existence was likely over um, and that it was over soon. Two million Afghan civilians died uh, over the course of the next 10 years. My family lost their homes, their livelihoods, their professions, um, their photos. They, they lost so much and um, it was incredibly difficult for them to make the decision to leave. My mother was a journalist and the editor of a children's magazine in Afghanistan. Um, but imagine being in your 40s and moving to a new country, having to learn a new language and essentially start from scratch. Um, she has worked incredibly hard and I'm so proud of her for all that she's accomplished. I wouldn't be here today if, if it weren't for her. Her generation sacrificed itself for its children. Um, and because of that, I've had enormous opportunities here. And there's not a day that goes by that I don't remember that. Um, I don't take anything for, for granted because I know just how hard that she and my family have worked. Um, honoring their sacrifice and their history is the most powerful immigrant story I can tell. And I know that so many others have experienced similar tragedies um, and have fled difficult circumstances to, to be here. Um, our story is not unique, but I like to think that we are part of the fabric of America today. Um, just like hundreds of years ago, um, immigrants from other parts of the world fled difficult circumstances to be here and helped build this country. So I am grateful and honored and um, incredibly humbled to be here and for my family to, to be a part of America today.